Morning, everybody, or good afternoon, whenever you're tuning in. <laughs> I'm Heather. I'm Kim. And this is week three, a touch late week three of Parent Child Mother Views. This is the third time we're doing it. Well, not really. We've done it a couple bad runs. So <laughs> yes. this is the third recording we're going to give to you. <laughs> so let's start with finding the earth. Here is the earth. Here is the sky. Here are my friends. And here am I. You want to give it a go? Yeah, let's do it one more time. If you want to, you can rock your baby while you're doing this. If you've got bigger people at home, they might want to pound the earth, be a little more kinesthetic, a little more touchy-feely. Here we go. Here is the earth. Push the clouds up. Here is the sky. Here are my friends. And here am I. Yay! Hey, let's get ready to find our moons. Kim, where's your moon going to be today? My, you know what? My favorite place to do the moon is still in the sky imagining it. I like that picture in my head, but I love the moon. I love the moon when it's full. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pretend that I have someone sitting in front of me and I'm doing it on their back. Okay. The moon is round, as round can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth like me. One more time. The moon is round, as round can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth like me. Yeah, that's such a good one. I like those. Those are probably my two favorite things to start. I should just wake up in the morning and do them myself. Yeah, some it's yoga good. and some other foods. Yeah. <laughs> so the next one is a bouncy one. So get your legs out. Maybe you're just bouncing yourself. Maybe you've got a little one and you're bouncing here. And the reason I'm saying maybe you're bouncing yourself is because what we've heard is there's a lot of little people, a lot of preschoolers and older. Watching the news and you know, that's awesome here. Um, but, you know, you just have little ones that are sort of in the awesome It's really nice just to do this one back and forth. And you just change the rhythm. And what happens is you find out a little bit about your baby, maybe how they react to motion. And how much they like to move. So it's father and mother and Uncle John. Heather, what you doing? I'm moving because you're breaking up. And I don't know oh. if it's my laptop or yours. So we'll, I'm pretending it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so we're adjusting to the technological changes we're handling in our lives. <laughs> so bounce to whatever you're right. Maybe you're the, I've got the baby, let's say. Hey. And, <laughs> I'm just going to bounce. Hey, Heather, do you want to have the baby and I'll have the person on my lap? <laughs> okay. Father and mother and Uncle John went to market one by one. Father fell off. Mother fell off. And Uncle 
Skull John went on and on and on and on and on and on and oh, he fell down. Because <laughs> otherwise you might just have to keep going. Okay, so Heather, you want to do it once? Sure. Father and mother and Uncle John went to market one by one. Father fell off and mother fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Awesome. Heather's gone. She's I'm looking back. for the stars. She went out looking for the stars. <laughs> Where are the stars? There. There. Where are the stars? There. There. Where are the stars? There. There. Where is my star? Right here. Let's do it again. This time I'm going to pretend that I've got a little one in my arms. And this, is, this is their head right here. How about you, Kim? I was going to do that too. I was going to have one right here. Okay, good. Because I'm going to, I'm strong enough. Usually I would probably have them on the ground. Well, let's try that. I'm going to pretend I have it on the ground. It. The child. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the stars? Where? Where? Where are the stars? There. There. Where are the stars? There. There. Where is my star? Right here. So nice. I wish I had a baby to hold. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just thinking, I wish I knew all these when my kids were babies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Johnny Cash, that's what my kids got sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and back then, I don't know about you, Kim, but I would just sing anything I could because I knew that it made me feel better. Yeah. But I didn't understand why. Yeah. I think, And it's interesting because I, I did take Parent Child Mother Goose actually when my kids were first born. But even still, I still had my own tunes. Each of the kids sort of had a funny tune that I made up with their name in it. And knowing what I know now, I realized that a lot of that repeating that same song was about me, not about the kids, even though, but what right? So, or you just make better decisions when you're calm, I think, too, as a parent, right? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so should we get ready to find our toes? Sure. All right. <laughs> I see you find your toes, Heather. It's, you're standing right now, aren't you? <laughs> ah, technology. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave this one, Kim. Okay. Everybody knows I love my toes. Everybody knows I love my toes. I love my shoulders, my knees, my elbows, and my nose. But everybody knows I love my toes. And we're going to introduce a new verse. Oh, right. Yeah. We said we would, and you came back, so we will. Everybody knows I love my lips. Everybody knows I love my lips. I love my shoulders, 
my knees, my elbows, and my hips. <laughs> but everybody knows I love my lips. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You just about got me. I was going to my toes instead of my lips. There you go. Do we do that second verse again? We should because I need it for my brain to remember. Okay. So it's lips and hips that are new. Everybody knows I love my lips. Everybody knows I love my lips. I love my shoulders, my knees my elbows and my hips but everybody knows i love my lips oh yeah jazz hands i love it <laughs> is this when we snack usually i feel like it is Hmm. Yes. Do you want to take a sip of water? That's a very good idea. I have mine. Oh, here it is. Parents, make sure that you're hydrating. Yes. Um, if you were having a snack right now, Heather, what would you have? Think about parent child mother goose. If we were really there, what would you be having? We'd probably have goldfish. Mm -hmm. And maybe little cubes of cheese. And probably some sort of like maybe blueberries or strawberries. Ooh, that would be good. I haven't had blueberries in a while. Are they good yet? They're, they're nice now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. I'm going grocery shopping later, so. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Got to remember the arrows. That's my hardest part. I'm a little distracted when I uh, grocery shop. <laughs> There's a lot more rules to remember these days. Yeah. Yeah. That hyper vigilance. Yep, keeping us all safe. Yeah, yeah, and it's hard, and and knowing that, and then on top of trying to get this regular skill done, you need to remember to breathe. <laughs> Which again is why parent child mother goose is so nice, because the songs and the lullabies they get you breathing. Breathing, yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, so I'm telling story, aren't I? Yeah. I'm gonna have to position myself because I'm pretty sure. My close-up, this is Kim's close-up. I'm Kim getting my coffee for this. This is one of my favorites. Okay, so the story I'm gonna to tell today is the Freedom Bird, and it is from Thailand. There is a song in it that you can sing along with me. It goes, na 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 na, na 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 na. Na 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 na. Okay, so this story is a little longer. So you know what I realized too as I was thinking about this, you can walk as you know. So this these stories are for you as adults. The kids might enjoy them, they might not. Um, as an adult, someone telling you a story is sort of sometimes a new concept. So you know what, if you're walking around and you're just playing it and listening to the story, that's great. Do what you need to do at this time, but um, it'd be cool if you took the chance and uh, just sat down, grabbed a cup of tea or something and listened to the story. So again, it's Freedom Bird. Join in as you want. This story takes place in Thailand and it's during uh, a time, so in Thailand, they, a lot of people have to hunt for their food. So um, this is about a hunter. And he's out in the forest, he's walking along, and he has got his bow and arrow with him, and he's looking for some birds. And he keeps walking, and off in the distance, very quietly, he hears this song. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Well, he keeps hearing it and it, it's slightly annoying. So he starts walking towards it and he comes up to a tree and he hears it quite loudly now. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. 
Na, 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 na. Well, he looks up and he sees the ugliest bird he's ever seen. The bird looks down at him. He looks up at that bird and he says, you are going to be my dinner. And he pulls out his arrow. He puts it into his bow. He aims very, very carefully. He releases the bow arrow. It sails up. The bird looks down and he hops to the side. The arrow sails just beside him and the bird goes, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Well, the hunter, he feels that he's being taunted and he's quite mad. Takes a deep breath. He reaches back, pulls out the arrow, puts it very carefully into the bow. He looks up at that bird and he aims very, very carefully this time. He takes another deep breath. He releases the arrow and it sails and it hits the bird. The bird floats down to the earth and the hunter picks him up. He puts him in a bag, throws him on his, over his shoulder and he starts to walk home. He's quite proud of himself and he does enjoy how quiet it is now that he's not hearing that song. But as he's walking home, he hears. He looks around and he, he's not sure, but he continues to hear the song all the way home. By the time he gets home, he's kind of a little rattled. This is kind of weird. He's just figuring maybe there's other birds like that in the forest. So he takes the bird out of, his, out of the bag. He plucks the bird and he leaves him on the counter and he goes to wash his hands. And as he washing his hands, he hears, no, 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 no. He's had it. He takes the bird, he pets it up, gets a boiling water, pot of water, throws all the pieces of the bird into the water, sits back, grabs a chair, and he just takes a break because his mind, it, it's really bothered by all the sounds he's hearing. And so COVID-19, warning, wash your hands before doing this. So he's sitting there and what he hears is, no, 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 no. That's it. He's had it. He figures something is wrong. It's haunted. Something is going on. So he takes that water, he drains it, and he takes all the pieces of the bird and he takes them out to the yard and he digs a hole. He dumps all the pieces in, he covers it up, brushes his hands off, starts walking away. And what he hears is, Well, he's, that's it. He, he doesn't know what to do. He runs into the house, he gets a box, he starts to dig that hole up and he gets all the pieces and he puts it into the box. He sifts through the soil, making sure he's got them all, takes that box, he ties it tightly up, ties it as tight as he can, he walks down to the river, he throws it way far into the river and he watches that box sink and then come up and sail away until he can't see it anymore. He waits, he hears nothing. He waits again, nothing. So he walks away, goes back to his house. He has oatmeal for dinner and then time passes. The seasons change and 
you know, about a year later, he finds himself in that same forest with his bow and arrow. And off in the distance, do you know what he hears again? Very quietly. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Well, that hunter, he starts walking. And he walks back to the same tree that he used to walk to, or that he hunted at last year. So he goes back to that same tree where he found that bird last year. And, and he takes a deep breath. And what does he hear? Very, very loudly. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. And that hunter, he looks up and he sees a hundred golden birds. And he shouts very loudly, I know who you are. You are the freedom bird, for you cannot be killed. And the birds sing, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. And that is the story of the freedom bird. Oh, I miss the audience for that one. I miss all those people. Is your mute on? No, it was. Okay. <laughs> Not anymore. I just kind of, that story just makes me want to just sit for a second and reflect. I love it. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome. Yo, Tiago. Yo, Tiago. All day long I sing this little song to you. Yo, Tiago. Yo te amo. Darling, I love you. Yo te amo. Yo te amo. All day long I sing this little song to you. Yo te amo, yo te amo, darling, I love you. Want to do key? Oh, yes, that's what wanted, we wanted. wanted to do key one more time, and then I think that will be it for this week. This is the key to the kingdom. And this is the kingdom. And in the kingdom, there is a town. And in the town, there is a hill. And on the hill, there is a road. And on the room, there is a house. And in the house, there is a room. And in the room, there is a bed. And on the bed, there is a basket. And on the basket, there is blanket. And under the blanket, there is a baby. Baby under the blanket, blanket on the basket, basket on the bed, bed in the room, room 
in the house, house, on the road, road, on the hill, hill, in the town, town, in the kingdom. And this is the key to the kingdom. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, so we didn't add anything more this week. Um, and that is something that some of you may not like, and some of you may not have noticed. Um, and the reason for that sometimes is, I think it's nice to stay where we're at and really just get to know these ones that we know. Um, and as much as we say that repetitions is, you know, good for the baby's brains in those early years, repetition is really good for all of us. And especially in a time now where so much is new, having the same over and over is okay. I, I find comfort in it. And I think that's why I like parent child mother goose. There is some predictability to it, but sometimes we throw in like the extra bits, like you didn't learn a totally new one, but we did learn lips and hips. So yeah. Um, anything? Cause we're going to end with our lovely yeah. ending song. We're thinking of you all. Yeah. Um, and like we said last week, we really hope that you'll share this with any parents who might be new parents right now. Um, and they can't get out and they can't spend their time with, with their loved ones and um, go through the, the joys and the celebration of the exhaustion uh, with their closest people. So um, if this could help any of you, any of them, then that would make us really happy. Yeah. Take it away, Kim. So either join in in this or if you don't know it, really listen to the words and know that this is how we're feeling. You are wonderful when somebody says that to me. I feel wonderful as wonderful can be. It makes me want to say the same thing to somebody new. And by the way I've been meaning to say, I think you're wonderful too. You are wonderful. When somebody says that to me, I feel wonderful as wonderful can be. It makes me want to say the same thing to somebody new. And by the way, I've been meaning to say, I think you're wonderful too. See you next time. <laughs>